Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today at Callaway headquarters. We're in the Performance Center right now. I've got Thomas Campbell with me. Thomas is one of my colleagues at Second Swing. He's a master fitter at our Minnetonka location and also plays a fairly hectic schedule as a mini tour player as well. We've been here today testing new product. It's been a good day, huh, Thomas? It's been a great day. Yeah, the new Epic Flash line is really impressive. I'm yeah. Really, I'm really excited about it. We're going yeah. to talk Epic Flash right now. We got a chance to hit the drivers and the fairway woods. Let's talk about the drivers first. We both got a chance to hit the standard Epic Flash and the Epic Flash Sub-Zero. Tell me some of your takeaways on your experience. Say the biggest takeaway from the Epic Flash driver was the look of it. So I currently have been playing the Epic driver myself. Love it. Um, I got the, I really like the Epic Flash Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero head. It just, it just looked a little, little bit smaller, even though it's still the same size, but it just seemed like I, it, it addressed, like, it wasn't going to hit off very, very far offline, so that, that was really good. The original standard Epic Flash driver also was really, really good. Maybe it just looks like a slightly larger face, maybe present a little bit more confidence to, to other players, um, but both were really, really good, gave good results. So. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. The Epic Sub Zero, Epic Flash Sub Zero, just had that little more compact shape. It reminded me a lot of the Epic Sub Zero, which I played for quite a while. Um, the other thing about that that we noticed was the two had a little bit of a different feeling than the original Epic. A little more explosive, not quite as muted that sometimes you get with the carbon fiber crowns. This sounded not loud, not tingy, not unpleasant in any way, but definitely. You know, when you hit it solid, there was a real sensation that you just nailed it. Yeah, no, I would agree. The, uh, the standard Epic Flash Driver felt pretty solid, really, really solid. Both of them felt really solid. The one thing I noticed with the Sub-Zero was, you know, it just gave it just a little bit more solid feel to it. The Epic Flash Standard model felt just a little bit softer off the, off the club head. Wasn't losing any ball speed or club head speed or anything like that. Just just gave a little bit of that softer feel to it. That was, that was kind of one thing I noticed for sure. Yeah, and I think uh, for me personally, one of the reasons I was in the Sub-Zero originally is I tend to launch the ball pretty high. Typically, the higher you launch it, the more your spin's gonna get up. And another great job by Callaway with the Epic Flash Sub-Zero, even if I was with a miss hit launching the ball in that 15, 16 range, which is higher than I want, I was still able to keep those spin numbers in the mid 2000s, which is going to be a real benefit of that club for players like me. Yeah, Chris, we definitely noticed that with the Sub Zero, you were able to stay under the 3000 mark on those misses to the right. Probably you'd say it was spinning maybe two or 300 less than what the standard Epic Flash model was as well. So that was really nice to see the, that, that spin down rate for you as well. So. so we had a great experience with both drivers. Equally great, maybe even more surprising in terms of some of the, the numbers we saw on the monitor, the, the Epic Flash Sub-Zero and Epic Flash Fairway Woods were really impressive. Wow, were they ever. I've been in the market for a while to find myself a nice Fairway Wood and I might have just found one here today. <laughs> so it's, it's been a long search, so I'm, I'm excited about this. So. Your challenge is going to be picking between the two of them because your numbers with both were just incredible. Yeah, they both were really good. So. I didn't see too much of a difference between the two of them at all. Uh, maybe the Sub-Zero sat, sat, sat a little bit flatter, so it was maybe a little bit harder for me to turn it over left. Gave me the confidence to go after it a little bit harder and not worry about that miss to the left. But they both really went pretty straight. I'd say that's probably the biggest story of the day, even with the drivers as well, is the dispersion was just nice and tight, even on those misses. Yeah, so, yeah. downrange, we didn't see a lot of really foul balls, so to speak. Not at all. But back to the fairway woods, the feel on the two fairway woods was pretty similar. We both felt pretty like. Pretty similar, yeah. There wasn't too much of separ separation like we saw with the drivers. Yeah, so, both, yep, very, both felt really very solid. solid. Yep. And, you know, the big difference there is the Sub-Zero a little bit more compact uh, at address, and then also the movable weights, which will allow a player to maybe put that, who really needs to lower that spin or wants that flat ball flight, yep. put that heavy weight forward and knock that. Yep, so that'll be helpful for me as a fitter for that adjustable piece to try and get that spin rate down for players. So. And the other last thing I want to mention, Callaway's got a great line of stock shafts for the Epic Flash products, but we felt like the hazardous smoke, especially 
performed really well as a heavier shaft in those fairways. Yeah, no, it was it was really good. Um, I think Callaway's done a great job choosing that as one of their stock offerings. I think they're going to see a lot of success in 2019 with it for sure. No so, doubt. Yep, yep. So if you're a second swing customer and you're looking for some new gear in 2019, Epic Flash is going to have to be something you consider whether you're looking for a driver or fairway wood. We'd encourage you to come into Second Swing, one of our stores, get fit or come to secondswing.com, find out more about the golf clubs. And as always, we'll take your old gear in on trade, get you in some new product. Epic Flash could help you save some shots in 2019. Thomas, enjoyed it.